Hello Capricorn and welcome to Truth Got Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2024 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Capricorn. Let's see what we have for you. I'm going to pull an overarching energy. Look at some general energies then and we'll also look at love, romance, relationship areas, money, career, finances, and any other thread that comes out for you. <clears throat> so what do we have for Capricorn? Five of Pentacles. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's lovely. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Swords. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn? Such a focus in terms of Pentacles. Pentacles are what brings us stability, security, <clears throat> can be linked with, you know, the practical world, money, career, finances, property. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> My voice has gone a bit croaky. What do we have for Capricorn? Thank you, angel spirits, guides. Let's have a look at love, romance, relationships first. We have the Four of Cups. <clears throat> And we have the full. Let's have a look at money career. What do we have for Capricorn? <clears throat> we have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Strength card. Let's pull you an Angel Answer card. Message for Capricorn, thank you. April 2024. We have Recovery. Romance Angel card for Capricorn, thank you. Okay, that turned over quickly. We have Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And let's have a look at Money Career. What do we have for Capricorn, thank you. We have obstacles and blocks are lifted. <clears throat> All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. And let's see what we have, Capricorn. A couple more messages for what, whichever life area. These are just general messages. I'm going to pull you an animal oracle card. What do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. <clears throat> we have horse freedom. You always have a choice. And let's pull you an energy card. Energy for the month of April 2024. Thank you for Capricorn. So we have Angel of Love, number 49. Self-love included in this. Mm. 
<clears throat> Here's the thing, Capricorn. I feel that you're going through some kind of experience here. Here, um, that's very focused in terms of money areas, um, money, career, finances. Again, it it feels financial, but I think there's also an opportunity for something new in love. So I'm going to go through this this kind of scenario here. Let's talk about money, career, it just feels like a huge focus and uh, money, career, finances. Um, because the, the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles can be when we feel lack. Um, that can be, you know, an, an experience in terms of money, career, finances. It might well be here that you've been made to feel lack. I'm not good enough. I'm not valued. I'm not appreciated. I'm not paid for what I do. Um, this just feels that kind of energy that you are experiencing or a kind of environment or place where you don't feel that you can thrive. Um, and I feel that, that, that it's dawning on you here, Capricorn, that it's time to walk away. But there's likely a scenario here where you want to walk away to something else. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody coming in and making you an offer. It can be very good. I mean, it change, this is change in abundance. In, in the purest sense, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, it feels like a change in abundance, which is where the recovery energy comes in. Um, and this just feels like something's coming in that brings complete change for you. Knight of Pentacles can be a job offer, business opportunity, contract. Um, very good also in terms of um, <clears throat> sums of money, but this just feels like some kind of opportunity is offered to you here. Uh, and it's bringing a significant change in abundance. Not just in terms of your material aspect, but also in terms of your energy and value and appreciation. And that's the energy here. It's almost kind of like, um, it's like you're caught in a situation here, Capricorn. Um, you don't necessarily want to stay in the environment that you're in. You likely would want to walk away straight away. But there's a kind of energy, but I have to focus, I have to be mindful, I'm not happy. Nine of Swords can represent stress, anxiety, worry, upset, even uncertainty. Uh, in your current environment, um, but it can also be things like stress at work, um, stressful time, things preying on your mind, even the card of the insomniac affecting your health, your mental health, your well-being. This is the energy of the Nine of Swords, but there is a, a worry here. I can't just walk away. I can't just, I can't just kind of like um, I have to wait for to walk towards something. Because the, the, the worry is, I need to protect my long-term stability and security. Ten of Pentacles is, and it might well be, if you're waiting, I think there may well be a, a period of, of waiting to see whether this is going to manifest for you, this offer, this opportunity. You might even be worried if you're going to get the offer. You know, this can be that scenario as well. But it's likely that, you know, you're not happy where you are. I mean, I don't think that you are. Three of Swords, Nine of Swords, you're not happy where you are um, <clears throat> coming into April. Three of Swords, there could also be something that's caused you hurt. Again, Three of Swords can be emotional pain, painful truths, um, betrayals, letdowns, disappointments. Uh, you know, this can be the energy here. It's almost kind of like uh, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. It doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter how hard I work. It doesn't matter what the hours and the effort I put into something. I'm, I'm, I'm always, I'm still left upset and hurt and let down. But this is, this just feels like, but I, I think you've already made up your mind that this kind of area or this place is not working for you, but you want to line something else up first. And that's a strength card. It's a strength to face these kind of energies that are not necessarily easy, but be strong enough, likely to wait for the right time to appear, 
when you do walk away. And I think that there is some kind of offer coming in here, Capricorn, that will allow you to do that. Because, you know, the, the Eight of Cups always walks towards something better. The Eight of Cups always walks towards the Nine of Cups. Greater happiness, fulfillment, abundance, success. Um, so this just feels like something is coming in, likely at the perfect time, when obstacles and blocks are lifted. Because what you do, you do really, really well. Um, the, the Eight of Pentacles, I mean, I just feel that you... It doesn't matter. This is a really hard-working energy. This is a really dedicated energy. This is somebody who are putting a lot of time and energy into a place of work to prove themselves. And it might well be that you just worked and then you worked harder and you were kind of... I mean, this this can sometimes be when we kind of like work hard to please. We work hard to, to pacify people. Uh, we put in the work to you know, continue doing, you know, keep and continue doing what you're doing, you know, uh, because you feel it's necessary. It might also be here, Capricorn, the experience can also be if it's stress at work. I mean, these energies could be nine of swords and the three of swords, it's affecting your health. It could actually be long working hours or excessive work. But again, not feeling valued or appreciated. Five of Pentacles, not getting what what you're putting into this. You know, there's a feeling of you're not getting back out of it. That's what I'm getting here. I think that you've you've decided that you want to walk away, but you want to walk away at the right time and having the strength and courage to kind of like continue on the path that you're on until something opens up for you that you can finally walk away. Well, that's happening. I think that's definitely happening in April. That's what I'm seeing. The Eight of Cups is walking away and leaving. Knight of Pentacles is an offer coming in. Job offer, business opportunity, contract. It feels that you can... I just feel that there's just a sense of, of undervalued, and appreciation. something might be affecting your health, mental or well-being. Um... It might not be a nice environment that you're in. But there is recovery coming as a result of this. And that's what I'm seeing for you. You can finally walk away, I think, uh, in, in, in April time. This is what I see for you. And those are, that's the real focus in, in April. The additional message with the Four of Cups, I, can't, I kind of saw these as a standalone message for you. Um... If this was an extension of this reading and it was to do with, because there's so many pentacles energy, uh, which can can focus on money, career, finance, it's not limited to that, but there is so much in terms of the focus that I'm feeling in this reading, self-love first and foremost. Um, the Four of Cups and the Fool could also be here. You might be deciding to liberate, finally liberate from a situation and they might try and keep you in the place that you are feeling lack, underappreciated, undervalued, you know, difficult experience, stress for whatever reason. It might well be that this is something is offered to you to keep you. But I think the focus is on liberating from this, if this is translating into those cards as well. The additional message I had for this Capricorn, and it was really with these two cards that I just saw a focus in terms of love. The Four of Cups and playfulness, the Four of Cups can be somebody reaching out, asking you something or offering something in terms of love. Can be new love or renewed love. And the Fool can be, it can be quite a light and fresh energy, can be a bit playful, you know. Um, the Fool can be a brand new chapter. Uh, this is either if it's somebody in your current atmosphere, you're taking a leap of faith on them and seeing where it leads, or you liberate from the whole thing. For others of you, if this is a new relationship, again, the four of, four of cups can be, you, you might feel that you're not ready or now's not the time or, you know, but you're, you're not saying yes, you're not saying no to the four of cups, you're thinking about it. Uh, so it might well be that you're considering somebody, somebody likely asking you out or inviting you somewhere. Uh, but you're not sure. But remember, with the Four of Cups, we have to kind of like consider what we're being offered and really trust our instinct because, you know, we don't want to kind of say no and then regret it later. So sometimes these energies can be, even though you're not sure, 
it can be about taking a leap of faith and seeing where it leads in terms of new love and romance as well. You might be going through some kind of recovery process. It could be from a previous relationship. It could well be that there's just a, such a focus in terms of money, career, finances. You're not sure now is the time to start something new. But this is the energy here. Um, I feel that that is being presented to some of you. That's what I'm seeing for you in terms of, of April 2024. So Capricorn, I'm going to pull you three additional cards. These can be messages that you need to hear in any life area. It's not just limited to this reading. I'm just going to shuffle one more time. <clears throat> Okay, messages for Capricorn, please. Three cards for Capricorn for April. The first one, the Wyvern, your secrets are safe. And sometimes we act secretly to bring in the changes that we need. The gate, a barrier keeps you from your goal. But interestingly enough here, the additional message that's come in is that obstacles and blocks are going to be lifted. But sometimes, like I said, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships, you know, it might well be that you just need to think about this. Certainly in an existing relationship, I don't want to say yes, I don't want to say no, I want to think about it. Do I take a leap of faith on this person or not? And that can also be in terms of love romance, new love and romance. We have serendipity. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. Lovely. So those are your additional messages. I'm going to finish off with an Angel and Ancestors Oracle card. So a message from the Angels and Ancestors for Capricorn. Thank you. For April 2024, what do we have for Capricorn? We have Medicine Guardian. Be open to healing information. Comes out for a re reason, so let's see what we have. Listen to what is coming up within you and what is being shared with you by trustworthy others in your life. Pay attention to healing information. You are being exposed to information and insights that will have dramatic healing effect upon your life. If you are working through something mentally or emotionally, know that there are spiritual energies supporting your healing. If you are working through something that is physically challenging, Pay particular attention to information that's coming to you that feels inspired, insightful and warm. It will be supportive of your wellness. Your angels are here to remind you that your natural state is one of wholeness and you are on the road to revealing that wholeness once more. And for those of you, you know, in addition to this, you know, these energies... When we talk about, in when we talk about medicine and when we talk about recovery, these will be very good in terms of health issues, addressing health issues, um, mental or emotional or physical. So very powerful in that respect too. That's what I have for you, Capricorn, for the month of. April 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.